What do you think your moon sign might be in? Moon sign? My moon? Yeah, it could be any 12 of the signs. Taurus, maybe. No. no. So, this is how my interpretation is of your moon sign. It's someone, your mother, um, had you move to school, just school to school to learn different things and travel and spend it. No. Or, no? No. Well, then... I lived in the same place all my life, except for when I went to China. Okay, well, then either way, the way that you get in tune with your own emotions is by traveling, Sagittarius. And it also means your philosophy, how it goes, and that's where you go with your emotions. So that's what you're doing. You're going on adventures, and you're gambling with life. You're traveling, and you're keeping things moving to get in tune with your inner self. Like, you know what I'm saying? Isn't that yeah, funny? I do that. So you would just be like, your mother, was she not very affectionate? Uh, I would say my mom was very affectionate. Actually. Okay, then, because, like, we don't know what your fourth house is. It might be something else. But, you know, the moon said you're saying very affectionate for some reason. I don't know. Right. Are you a touchy-feely person? Yes. Oh, that's cool. Well, you have mercury in Aries. That's how you think you communicate. So, there you go. Right. It could be aggressive. Your Venus is in Aries. Your Venus is what you're looking for in other people in relationships and how you act in a relationship, which is, like, Already yourself, like, you know, pushy, forceful, blunt, upfront about everything, I guess, maybe? I've been told I'm blunt. Okay, good. And, and maybe it's a little bit selfish, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, because Aries is, rules the self and stuff. Your Mars is in Cancer, it's your willpower and your sexual expression, how you get mad. So you might explode with a baby, like, emotional brattiness, and, like, you might be slow, to, and you have weak willpower, and, um... I don't know. And you you put all your energy into have family or something in your home. Yes. Okay, your Jupiter is in Gemini, which means you're super lucky with a talking and communicating and listening and doing things with your hands and thinking fast and everything that rolls to Gemini and transportation and, and being informative and like being a public speaker and maybe publishing and writing stories or something like that. And language. I do like to write poems a lot. Like there you go. If you aim at that, you'll be lucky with it. You, you can publish okay. it real quick. Your Saturn is in Leo. This means you might have heart problems. And this also means your dad was a narcissist. And he was probably either your biggest fan and treated you like a celebrity. Or he wanted to be like, look at me, look at me. And our attention also crumbled your ego. And also, it restricts you on having fun. It makes you feel like you feel weird having fun. But it could give you the gift of being this actor. It could give you the gift of being in the spotlight. But it could also take it away from you if you're like a dick, egotistical, maniac, narcissist about it. Because it's trying to teach you a lesson to have a healthy ego instead of overboard with this narcissist bullshit. You have to let go of being a narcissist and let it become a greater expression. Like you could really be like a great writer, drawler. Like you could draw things. You could very express yourself. You could be so creative. But it also just take away from you, make you feel like, uh, crumbled inside, be like, I'm just a mediocre drawer, but you actually would draw, like, super good, and you don't even know it. And they could give you this gift of being a good a singer, and all that stuff, and all this opportunity to become an actor, and be in the spotlight, and then, or it could take it away from you, to where you feel like you just can't do it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you could audition for something, give you this opportunity, and then, like, you're like, I look at me, I'm so great and better than all of you, ha ha ha. And then it'd be like, huh, cut, 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 cut your claws because you're doing it wrong or something. Right. And it give you heart problems. It could give you heart problems. Do you have any heart problems? I don't have any heart problems yet. Goody. And then it's on your death house stuff. So Uranus is in Scorpio, your revelation, you get darkness and despair and going through sex, you weird, have weird, unusual. Things like that, and and other people's money, getting other people's money in unusual ways, like revolutional ways or humanitarian ways or some like out outcasty ways. I don't really know. Okay, your Neptune's in Sagittarius, so find your soul you, with souvenirs everywhere you film, take pictures of everywhere you go, yeah. and you find a little piece of your soul there and here and there. And your Pluto's in Libra, which means you don't like to sleep alone. You don't like to. Isolate yourself alone. When you isolate yourself, you go to somebody else to isolate yourself. 
when you want to be alone, you go to somewhere to someone else, right? You like hate being alone. Mm. I actually like being alone. Oh, well, that's so good. I don't know if that's rough. It's comfort to be to be in your own company. I mean, that's, that's far out. Well, that's just my interpretation of that Pluto and Libra bullshit. And you know, it has to be a hundred percent true. You know, like whatever. Right. I just like. Being able to say, that's my little piece of that Libra bullshit. <laughs> Meeting the needs of other people. Um, Your Lilith is in Cancer. So, something like, being like a Cancer, people don't want to see you do that, but you do it to do it. It's because of area and emotionally intimate and uh, gypsy-like and, I don't know, a home, something about family and crap like that. I don't know. Yeah. I keep on forgetting. Okay, your North Hall is in Libra. You came here to gain a partnership, and your life purpose is like to get married or something. Your crying is in Taurus. You you think you're financially secure, but you constantly have to heal that part of you and all this stuff. And then uh, your CRS is in Capricorn, which means you are uh, you make every you heal other people uh, by being. Like making their reputation look great. Like you'd be like, you you know how people are like, I'm trying to get a job and I need a reservation. And if I put you down, and they talk to you about me, you're gonna make me look so good. Like right. I'll get the job because of you. Because right. your CRS is in Capricorn. If you were the boss somewhere, you would, they would look like if you were not even the boss and you were below the boss, but you would basically be questioned, be like, how do I do this? Like from the boss or something all the right. time. Because you would know the answers or something in the career. And they would want you to be the boss. Like, being a fathering person heals other people, you know? And, uh, you know, you, yeah, you're so good at, good for everybody's reputation. Like, they would just use you for that. Be like, getting camera in front of me, you're making me look so cool. <laughs> or something like that. And then your palace is in Sagittarius, so that's your creative... Um, projects are with traveling and knowledge and learning stuff and learning stuff and, right. and, and your Juno is in Capricorn. The, someone you want to marry is somebody who's as the highest top of the list of the social climbing thing in the in your career. You want to marry somebody who's already in your work field or something like that. Obviously, your Vista's in Sagittarius. You were given the, the automatic luck with learning and philosophy and traveling. Stepping into all that stuff. Your fortune is Aries. Ugh, just by being yourself. Well, I don't know. It is what it is. What do you think <laughs> about Saturn and Leo? Was that like your father or not? <laughs> my father? Mm -hmm. My father is kind of uh, like I've always known he like loved me, but he's always been kind of naive know. or something. I don't know about naive, but kind of distant. Distant. Yeah. Like, I've always known he's loved me and stuff. He's kind of distant a lot, and he's very quiet. But he does, like, put me down a lot, too, though. And you could, th you could throw a party, right? Could you throw a really good party? I can. Exactly, because they give you the gift of being like, look at these party games, and I can set this up and stuff. And it'd be like, Amazinger than somebody else just throwing a party or yeah. whatever. So, look into that. An expression. Bomb.com. Okay. 